You know, the ability to play three spots in the outfield and, and, and three spots well. Uh, Thigh took really good at bats, especially after that kind of that first week of spring. I th- the bats continue to improve and um, managing a bat, take a walk, hit with some power, uh, athletic and run. Uh, and he's up to a you know a really good first half there in, in Norfolk. Uh, had a little bit of an inj- injury bug, but came out of that feeling good. And um, you know, so hopefully he can give us a spark. Is that a tough conversation with Ryan McKenna? Very. Um, Max, uh, Max, extremely well liked. Um, coaching staff and the players here. So, uh, it, you know, when you have you talk about like a, the energy and the vibe of the team, he is a enormous part of that, and uh, just always being ready, the loudest guy in the dugout, um, just always super prepared. And I think the you know the positive thing about this for him is that he's going to go out down there and get every day at bats, which I think he needs, and um, you know, hopefully he'll be back up here at some point. Um, this year and, and have a lot of playing time under his belt. What made now the right time to bring him up? What do you feel like? Why was this the right moment for him? Just think, you know, he was uh, had to get him healthy and uh, just playing well down there. And so, you know, we're we're not scoring a ton of runs here these last couple of weeks. So to be hopefully he can give us a little spark offensively. Brandon, how, almost half the guys in your lineup have been drafted in the last four years. Just how exciting is it that? The names that you've been waiting on maybe your entire tenure now getting here and you can write their names in the lineup. Yeah, we, we're it's got a lot of homegrown guys now and and uh, guys that have done a lot of really cool things in the minor leagues and drafted high and succeeded and earned their spot earned their way here and um, kind of all came up together too and know each other well. So exciting time for this team, exciting time for the organization and, and for fans to to watch guys that. You know, Mike and his group have drafted and drafted high and have high expectations for, and um, so hopefully Cal- Colton can come in here and fit in and uh, play well. Do you continue to lean on the roster flexibility to be able to keep guys getting regular at-bats? Not easy right now, yeah. Um, so, it's, you know, it's a great problem to have when you have 13 guys you want to play. So uh, it's mainly a night-to-night, um, you know, like last night, it was going over it a million times about who to play today, and it's going to be like that for right now for going forward. Brandon, in your experience with the Cubs, having a bunch of homegrown guys come up at once, does that help building a winning team and chemistry? Does that stuff play in the big league? Yeah, I mean, you got to surround them with, with uh, you know, these guys are really talented, and then surrounding them with, with guys with some experience, that's that's really, really important. And, and uh, um, I think it's these guys have a ton of confidence. These, you know, these homegrown guys that are here, uh, a ton of confidence. They've played well, played well together in the minor leagues. Um, they're all really mature, and I don't think the the, the third, fourth deck is going to be too. You know, it hasn't affected the guys so far. I don't, I don't see it affecting Col- Colton at all. And um, so, yeah, I think that's when your organization is in a really good spot. It's when you have a bunch of homegrown guys that have played their way to the big leagues, um, and uh, now up here, and and uh, hopefully they play well.